Aloha folks and welcome to today's video. Today is July 20th, 2021, and we're talking about the full moon in Aquarius, which is occurring Friday the 23rd. So full moon in Aquarius, uh, full moon means things are coming to light, and Aquarius means we're looking at the group. We're looking at social issues, social cohesion, social problems. There is some orientation towards the greater group when we're looking at Aquarius, which is a contrast to Leo. So when we have full moon in Aquarius, that means our sun is in Leo. So when we have, when we have le things in Leo, we are looking at identity. And I'd like to look at them together because individual identity means that you know what your personal gift is. And then if you, the individual, the Leo, know your personal gift and you go to the group as represented by Aquarius, you can say, these are my gifts. Aquarius is a little bit reverse. It's like we're a group and we have these problems, we have these needs and the Aquarius sees the Leo and says, come here, we have a need for you. So the conjunction in December of Jupiter and Saturn at the beginning of Aquarius was like, was like a calling saying, the group has needs for individuals. We have big needs, that's Jupiter. And the needs that we have are vital. If we don't get these needs solved, we're not moving forward. That's Saturn. And a week ago on the 13th, we had our conjunction of Venus and Mars in Leo. And in human design, it came in in the seventh and fourth gates. So really about leadership and finding answers. So Venus and Mars, I mean, the planets that represent the inner masculine and inner feminine. And they're saying, can you get them aligned so that you can be a leader in your own life and you can find the answers that you need within? Because this is Leo. This is identity. You find out who you, you, you are, who you are, you look inside. There's nothing outside of you that can ever reveal the total vastness of who and what each of us really are. So the full moon in Aquarius is asking us, who are we as individuals? Because we need to come together as a group. It's, it's very apparent. It's very apparent on many, many levels how important social cohesion is becoming. Instead of traveling the world with all the restrictive travel we've had during the lockdown, I've been watching documentaries from all over the globe being made by the different public broadcasting stations of different countries. And my assertion is that these documentaries have told me that all of humanity's problems across the globe have been homogenized. We are there already. We're at a certain degree of homogenization and globalization. I would say that it's probably not fully apparent on the surface. Where I'm tuning in is, is the tone underneath. All of the developed countries have the same problems and all of the undeveloped or underdeveloped countries have complementary problems because the immigrants from Central and South America, they go to the US. The immigrants from the Middle East and Africa, they go to Europe. And so there are the same problems all over the place, just being expressed in slightly different contexts, but the tone underneath is the same. And humanity really needs to ask itself, what's going on? What's going on with 
our desire for expansion in a manner that is taking us in reverse. And I'm saying that because Jupiter's been in retrograde. It's moving back into Aquarius. It's been in Pisces. But during this, this uh, process, it's um, as it's shifting back into Aquarius, it's making oppositions to Mars and Venus. And it's also with Mars and Venus, it's making a square to Lilith. And Lilith represents this like dark, wild, unappreciated feminine. And that to me sounds like the earth because I look out and I see people who maybe know how to use their masculine and feminine sides very well in the sense that they can manifest a lot in this world. But I guess my question for them is, who are you manifesting this for? Are you really advancing your soul and your spirit? Because there are three spacemen out there, Musk, Branson, and Bezos. They're getting ready to leave Earth to find their place in the universe. Find their place in the universe. I mean, that's like such a, such a Leo Aquarius axis thing. Like, who am I and where do I belong? I don't think I belong here. I must be an alien. It's time for me to leave. So yeah, this is Jupiter expansion going in retrograde. It's like they're going backwards and it's causing this tension with the rest of us here on earth because they're going to rip up the bottom of the ocean. They can, we as well with our cell phones, ripping up Africa for the precious metals, for these computer chips, these solar power cells, you name it, we are really stripping the earth of, of resources that we could be using to, to do something other than just extreme levels of self-indulgence. Definitely, definitely a Jupiter gone wild scenario with what's going on with the spacemen. So what are, what are they really doing for the group as a whole? What is it? What is going on? You know, Saturn in Aquarius is, is often referred to as the hermit, but it's, it's like the group that really matters. The group that really matters is that I have my internal group, my liver and my heart and my kidneys and my brain and my lungs are all working together. No organ wants to be the other organ. Maybe some bone marrow is, you know, ready to turn into what it, whatever I need it to turn into, but, but the liver doesn't go back and turn into something else. Okay. I'm not here trying to be somebody I'm not because that's, how I contribute to the group Aquarius. I am the Leo that I am, and that allows the group to benefit from my personal gifts without, without redundancy. If I am fully the Leo that I am, there will be no redundancy in the group. So, So that's what I see. I see this real push by many for a one world government, for more cohesion, for free trade or fair trade, whatever. And then I see another group shouting, where we go one, we go all. Oh, what a, what a tongue twister. But I, I like to say that we are learning how to work as a team. We need to learn how to work as a team. There are things in the world that are happening, that are looming, that are incoming, and we need to be ready to work together. And that means really embracing one's individuality. Individuality, undivided, undivided. If we really know how to connect 
to the deepest point of who we are as individuals. That will align our personal needs with greater needs. And then you can be as selfish as you want. At least that's how I see it. So I'm going to be as selfish as I want. Because what I want is also good for the group. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Aquarius has that potential. We don't have to squelch the individual. We can embrace the individual. Aquarius is the Leo could be said is Leo, but more like a lone wolf is like the single lion. But Aquarius is the whole pride of lions. So let's get together and work together. Mahalo.